Hi, my name is Gordon Wettstein. I'm an assistant professor in electrical engineering at Stanford University. My group works on future cameras and future displays. So we build new devices that enable us to capture the world in different ways and also to present images to us in completely new and interesting ways. One of the things we work on in the lab are new kinds of displays that allow you to take off your glasses and put them onto your display so that the display shows you an image that looks fine for you even if you can't see the world very sharply normally. So the way we perceive the world is we have two eyes and they focus on objects at different distances. And some of us have what's called visual aberrations. So something's wrong with the lenses in our eyes and we can't really focus our eyes. So in my case, I'm wearing glasses so that I can see objects that are far away very sharply. And that's known as short-sightedness or myopia. Sometimes it's kind of annoying because we have to wear these glasses or we have to get surgery, which can be dangerous, or we have to put in the contact lenses in our eyes. So one of the technologies that we developed is basically a screen that helps you correct your vision. So as I said, it's like an optical illusion that shows you an image that is not a conventional text. It's actually a computed image with new algorithms that creates this illusion that there is text that you can focus on with your eyes. So what we do is we put the glasses on the display rather than on your face. Now in practice we don't actually use the glasses. We build a new kind of an attachment that you can clip on your phone. It's very small and then you just use your phone just the way you did normally but it looks actually a little bit different. So it has this little attachment to it. And then what the phone does is it knows where I'm looking at because it has a little camera integrated and it runs an algorithm that shows you a special kind of an image, an, an image that's like an optical illusion, which then looks like it's focused sharply for my eyes. So if you're farsighted, that means you can focus very closely, then if you look at a normal screen, it just looks totally blurry. The text is out of focus, you can't read it because it's just so blurry. All the buttons on the screen, you don't even know what's going on here. Now, if we add our little hardware attachment, this $1 clip-on that you can clip onto your phone, and we show you a special image, then it looks just like the way it would if you were wearing glasses. So, you can use this technology in a phone, but it's equally applicable to a wide range of different scenarios. For example, you could use it in your electronic book. When you are on the subway and you read a book, you forgot your glasses at home, you can still read the text with this special kind of a display. You can also imagine that this technology could be integrated in a laptop. So when you do some work or you read on Wikipedia, you can still see the text even if you don't wear glasses. The technology could be integrated in a phone so that when you're biking and you're not wearing your glasses, you could still read the phone and you can see who's actually calling you. So the display we built is like an optical illusion. It gives you the illusion that uh, you can look at text and look at images and you can read it even though you're not wearing your glasses. You'll be learning more about optical illusions in the class right now and there are many different types of optical illusions and I just told you about one of them. So I hope you're going to have a lot of fun and they'll be useful for many different things and also for future technologies like the displays that we built here at Stanford University.